Hey hunties, hope we are all fine down and well wherever we are watching this in the world today. So we're back in the studio and <laughs> now I can actually say this, black background only means one thing, we're going to do a makeover. Now my guest slash victim today is somebody that I go really really quite far back with, um, longer than I did with Emma, longer than I did with Steve, uh, back to my days um, at Coningsby uh, back in 2009-2010. Um, I think, what was it, the June we met in 2010? Sheepy's party. Yeah, Sheepy's party. We'll find some fucking random pictures and chuck them in, because I'm sure I've got them on a whole hard drive somewhere. Um, that's going to throw back some old... Oh, it's going to make me feel old. I was 18 then. Mm. Oh, that's depressing. I quit this video. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm not doing it. I'm out. Um, so, yeah, this person goes back a, lot, like a really long way in my career. Um, known and chatted. Uh been talking about doing this for god ages now but it's one of those ones covid kicked in and then it's just general adulting life um but i will introduce you all to mikey Ooh. come in <laughs> all right, so. welcome to the channel um if you can get on the chair without it fucking falling because emma bloody struggled you did a lot better than she did uh, so, as you can see, Mikey has a beard, so this is going to be interesting and different. However, I'm going with it as a positive because it means I don't have to... That was rude. <laughs> have a close-up. Um, right, we'll try that bit again. So, as you can see, Mikey is a bearded man, um, which is obviously going to be a bit different, um, but I'm looking at it as a challenge and a positive because it means I have to do contouring. It's going to be a lot probably quicker to do this. Maybe it'll maybe it'll change my mind. Maybe I'll become a bearded drag queen. Why not? Obviously we just had Danny Beard, um, who was a scouser and just won drag race. He was a bearded queen. Oh that's two scousers who've won drag drag race now. Well you're not a real scouser. No. <laughs> you're fucking punched. <laughs> <laughs> or stabbed. I'm probably not, stabbed. I'm not a scouser. <laughs> um so yeah we're gonna mm. get on with it. Um we're gonna see but he's this is also a first as well for me because we're going like full hog, like getting him into a dress, the whole shebang. Um, he's going to have an explore of the wardrobe um, a little bit later. I'm not sure if he's uh, willing to tuck just yet. Uh, we shall see um, where we lead with that one. But that's an entirely up to him decision. It's not fun. It's not comfortable. It's not painful, but it's not comfortable. Um, so, yeah, we shall get on. I'm going to get his eyebrows down. Um... And then we will get back to you once we've got a base. See you in a bit. <laughs> no, that's not how we do that. <laughs> We're going to get started. Right, so we are back. Eyebrows and base are done. Um, how does it feel having like an eyebrow halfway up your forehead? Oh, it feels like the glue. It's just the glue. Yeah. The glue being the weirdest bit. Emma was just like, I don't know, obviously, I assume you've seen the last video. She was just like, she's like, where are you? Like, is that underneath my eyebrows? Like, yeah, that's still underneath your eyebrows. She's like, but it's in the middle of my forehead. <laughs> like, every time I, I get yeah. frown on my head for him, if you can feel like the glue pulling. Yeah. You able to sit up a bit straighter. Just because you're out of the military now doesn't mean you get to, like, let your standards drop. God. <laughs> Majorly do. Fucking MT drivers. Right, so we've decided. Because I didn't realise this, or I probably knew it, but I've like blocked out of my memory. Um, and I don't know why he's in my household right now. He's an Evertonian, and... Why don't tell everyone? I fear that my fiancé is never going to return to me if he finds this out. Um, his family definitely are never going to come into this household um, now as well. So we decided we're going to go for a blue look um, to like kind of reflect that. Um, I might just this, do this makeup like really bad on purpose, just as like punishment for being an Evertonian. But uh, being Evertonian is punishment enough. <laughs> yeah, it's like you made your choice. Yeah. Mm, choices. Deal with it. Right, we're gonna get on with the rest of the look, and yeah, we'll see you. Well, we'll come back to you. This all gets sped up in editing, but you'll get to see it all in <laughs> progress. It's like ah, we're just gonna get this over and done with as fast as fucking possible. Do like um in the Simpsons with the makeup done. Now you're ready for a night on the town. <gasps> Homer, you've got it set on whore. How much did he set to him? That was £52. <laughs> we 
So we have finalised the look, um, you haven't seen this at all, well we had a look before we put his eyebrows on so we could see what he looked like without eyebrows completely. Uh, so this is going to be like an actual reveal as we have done with previous ones. So turn it round when you are ready. Well. <laughs> <laughs> I've decided to go against giving him lipstick just purely on the basis of his lips are very thin and underneath the moustache it'll just look like a really thin black line and I'm like, no, that just, that, I don't think that's going to be a good look. Just bring it down a little bit so they, they can see your face still. God, oh, sorry. unprofessional. Sorry. <laughs> what do you think? It's not me, is it? No. <laughs> but that's the thing, is it? Look, everybody will be like, it's... It, Got my style to it. Yeah. Which is what we were obviously discussing the fact that every drag queen has different styles. So. Yeah, they decided to grow a beard. Yeah. An age. <laughs> Go grey. I'm already going grey. Catering done that to me a long time ago. So yeah. Do you like it? Yes. Good. Right. What we're gonna do is we're gonna jump off again. We will take some pictures. We're gonna get him into full drag, like absolutely everything except for heels, just purely for the fact that he's a size smaller on or two sizes smaller on feet. I don't really want him to fall over and break an ankle. Um, Lincoln Hospital isn't great and you'll be stuck there for days. Um, so yeah, we will get off. We're going to take some pictures and some more bits and bobs and chuck them in at the end, like about here, right now. <laughs> um, yeah, so I, I keep forgetting how I end my videos. That's all, folks. I don't know. <laughs> That's it. Bye, hunties. <laughs> we'll um, voila. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, a drag queen. How do you feel being a full drag? We didn't come up with a drag name for you. That's a good point. Figure that one out. Should have. I had. Do you know what the most? I, I thought about this the other day when we were this. And I was like, right. I want to take like use your normal name. And like incorporate something into it. Okay. 
Um... <laughs> right, I've got it. I've got it. So your new surname is now double barreled. Um, you married a German man. Ladies and gentlemen, Michelle Vance Moore. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> More dick. We are going to get off. Uh, I'll get you out, back out of drag. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that wig really actually suits you. It's really annoying. Damn him. He has really good eyelashes as well. That's like great eyelashes. I'm like, screw you. Jealousy again. Size seven feet, which is again really annoying because I could do much better with that because I'd be able to buy more heels because it'd be so much easier to buy with size seven feet. Though I'd probably spend too much on Christian Louboutins. So that's probably not a good thing. But yeah, um, he looks like he's murdered Cookie Monster and ripped the skin off, so we're going to go sort that out. <laughs> anyway, so we'll see you all later, hunties. Say, oh my god, my brain has stopped working. It's been a long week. I started a new job this week. That's coming in another video in probably a couple of weeks, and I'll explain everything, what's gone on. Anyway, see you later. See ya. Bye, hunties.